Hi, this is Aviva from the Chinuch Department in World Bnei Akiva. I'm speaking to you here from Gush Etzion. Welcome to the network. We're going to say a few words on Parashat Vayeshev this week. A couple of words in a couple of minutes. That's how it works. In this week's Parsha, our hero is Yosef. At the beginning, Yosef is not the best of the brothers. Let's just say it like that. He tattletales on them. He thinks he's better than them. Their relationship is not the best. But we know that Yosef wants to fix this. How do we know that? He goes out to the field and says, Et echai ani mevakesh. I am asking for my brothers. Why is he asking for them? He wants to make peace with them. He wants, to, he wants to love them. He wants them to love him. He wants everything to be okay. But for his brothers, by this point, it's already too late. They throw him into a hole. He's taken to Egypt. But in Egypt, we see that Yosef continues on his journey to greatness. We see that he continues to fix himself. Um, in Egypt, he becomes an Ishmatzliach, a successful man. This is hard because he's not in Eretz Canaan. He's not in Israel. He doesn't have his religion around him, his own people around him, but he successfully is able to preserve his religion and his connection with God. We see this when he meets with Eshet Potiphar, with Paro's wife, who tries to make him do bad things, and he holds on to who he is, even if it means bad things for him. He holds on to who he is. He sees that God is with him. He sees that he, in the Talmud, it even says that he sees that his parents are looking down on him and expecting him to do the right thing. And he knows that this is what he has to do. When Yosef is thrown into prison afterwards, he is the person that everybody goes to. He helps people. Instead of doing what he did with his brothers, he helps people try to fix themselves. He helps people feel better about themselves. But the turning point, the true turning point in the closing of a circle is when Yosef meets his brothers and they come down to, to Mitzrayim. He could send them away. He could be angry at them. But what does he do? He accepts them with love and with peace, what he was looking for at the beginning. May we all be able to accept everybody with love and with peace. May we be able to incorporate those qualities in our lives and in everything that we do. Shabbat shalom, Hashem imachem. Thank you.